Space-time is a subject that has occupied a lot of minds over the last century and before. Space-time also plays a very strong role in music. Now, I won't necessarily link the two concepts, but let's start with space and time separately. Space in music is obviously the very thing which gives any note any meaning. That is to say, if I take any song, the reason why each sound in there, each note, has its specific character is because of the way it belongs to that space which I formed for it. Music is made out of a specific alphabet of sounds, which is otherwise known as the scale. The reason why we use that is because that's a space that allows you to create music. It forms a sort of space with interlinked sounds that work one with another, and that's what allows you to make meaningful music. Now, that's how you have a specific space, and if I were to change that space, everything would change. And you have that power to do that in the middle of a song. Let's say, what happens here? What did I do there in the middle of the song was a big uh, departure. I changed the space. I made my home of the music and the whole space around it focus around this note. Whereas when I started, I had it on this note. You have the power to do that, to shift the space and it changes everything. If you shift the space, it changes everything. It changes the whole gravitational nature of each of the notes that you use. Because now they have a different function. The same note which was previously your center of gravitation is now just part of the system of another node's gravitation. Just as if a star went into rotation of another star and now he's no longer the boss. You see it often when people sing a song and decide it's too low or too high for them so they go somewhere else. What are they doing? They're changing the space. Let's say they started here and decide it's too low for them so they decide to go here. They change the space and that's something you can do in music. And now the element of time is a very obvious one in music. Music is known to be divided into beats that people like to dance along, to sing along, whether it's something like That's a beat that they form with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or there are beats of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and so on. There's the divisions of time in a song, and also each note accordingly is, de is designed to have a specific time, such as, so this note, be should they sound like this, or should they sound like this? Anything you can twist them around all that you want, each note comes with a specific time that it's assigned to by the composer. So those are ways in which both space and time play a role in music.